it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. All right, it's that time again where I bring you my next Stitch Fix. I am very excited about this one. For anyone that is new here, I have been doing Stitch Fixes for a really long time. Which one is this for me? This is fix number 61, which, wow. I've been getting Stitch Fix boxes for a really long time. For many years, I get them every single month. And then just starting this year, I cut back a little bit. I started with just every third month, but then I have recently changed to every other month, which I think I like that one better. So I'm not getting a box every single month, but I am getting it every other month. And I kind of like that. And of course today I'm bringing you my most recent one. Now I think I might break my rule for this fix. If you don't know what my rule is, my rule is that I usually stick with only buying one item. Two, if I'm really loving something. And I think I might be breaking my rule and keeping all five. This fix screams early fall to me. I love this fix so much. I'm so excited about every little thing here. I don't know what is my favorite. I don't really have any least favorites. I think maybe one top is a little too like billowy for me, but I still like it and it can make it work with a bunch of things. But other than that, this fix is perfect, which is great because it's been a while since I've had one that I've been like over the moon about everything about and where I've struggled. So I definitely think think I'm gonna end up keeping everything. And I actually had my Twitch chat kind of sort of help me pick what items. If you haven't done Stitch Fix in a while, you now get to like view, I think nine items before the box actually ships out to you and you get to pick from those nine items. And if you end up not liking something, then you can say that and they'll pick brand new items for you. I got the nine items to look at. I'm sitting there going like, oh my God, I love everything. <laughs> so I was showing my Twitch chat at the time when I got the email saying like, your stylist is styling your box. And I showed them and they're like, oh, you've got to do this one. You got to do this one. You got to do this one. So special shout out to my Twitch chat for helping me pick these items and now making it very difficult on me because I'm going to have to get off five. So let's go ahead and get started with what I actually got in this fix. So my stylist this month was Lisa. I usually keep really good track of who my stylists are, but because I'm not doing it every month, it's not really at the forefront of my mind. So I don't know if I've had Lisa style me before, but Lisa styled me this month and she sent me two tops, a pair of shoes, a jumpsuit, and a coat again, which I'm absolutely in love with a coat again, which is a mixture of like a coat and a cardigan. So it's like a heavy duty cardigan, but a really lightweight coat. It's great y'all. So where do I even start with first? I think I'll start with the top that like is the only one that I'm not like, holy crap, this is amazing. And it's just because it's like super billowy. So it like puffs out a little bit more, which is fine. I can make it work with like leggings or something like that, but jeans may not be its best friend. But the color I couldn't pass up for this top. So we have this top here from Z Supply. It is the Alicia Back Detail Knit Top. It is a size small and it retails for $28. This top is so lightweight and flowy. Like look at how it moves. I love this top. The only problem that I found with it is that it's so loose and flowy and billowy that it almost makes me look puffed out a little bit. I don't know if that was just me or what, but this top, I love this color. This color right here is one of my wedding colors. So like anytime I see this color now, I'm just like, I have to have it because it's part of my wedding colors. But I love just how simple and lightweight this top is. And I know I said that this box screams fall and you're probably looking at this top being like, Gretchen, that is hardly a spaghetti strap. What are you talking about fall? But the cool thing about this top is you can pair it with so many things to like make it more fall. And it's a great transitional piece because you can still wear it during the summer. It's still summertime. It's still hot AF outside. I can just wear it on its own. But then once fall or like, you know, the transition from summer to fall gets here, I can pair this with a cardigan, a jacket. I can pair it with whatever to transition into that next season. It does have like, when you look at it from the side, the back goes down a little bit more than the front, not by much, but a little bit. It also has like this V shape cut out right here on the side. The back is really nice. I have a black tank top kind of like this where it has that back detailing. So just like this little strip, this little spaghetti strap across the back. It is a little bit more see-through, a little bit more sheer, but not terribly so, not like you're gonna see everything. It just is a little bit more noticeable when you're holding it like this. The color sold me on this one. And I do like the flowiness of it. And I do like that it'll be a great transitional piece because it's perfect for summer and then going on into fall, pairing it with something else. Moving on to the second top that I received. This top is from the brand Look. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And it is the re-tie front top. Now, I saw this top and I tried it on 
And I was like, this top looks familiar. It's this top. So I got this top in a Stitch Fix. I don't remember what it was. I've had this for at least a year now, but it's this very exact same top, which I absolutely love this top. It's just a different pattern, but it's like completely different. Whereas this one is purple with like little white flowers. This one is navy with white, pink, green, orange, big flowers. So even though it's the same top, it looks completely different. But I love this top so much that I was like, yes, give me another variation. I love the flowiness of the sleeves. I love the little tie front top part. This top is incredible. It retails for $40, which I think this top is well worth it. I've mentioned before that navy is one of my favorite colors. Like black obviously is my favorite color to wear. I just live and breathe wearing black, but every now and then I'll throw in a little pop of color. And navy is one of those colors that I absolutely love to throw in. It's really hard to see unless you get up close, but that same green, and that's a theme with this fix because there's another item that's green, but there's that same olive green in the leaves for this top. And I'm like, Lisa nailed it. Lisa was like, I have a feeling she's gonna like this color. And you know what, she's not wrong. Pinks in here are also fantastic as is like the kind of yellow gold, like goldish orange color. I love this top. I love it so much that I've already bought it before in a different pattern. So I tried this one on, was like, this is familiar. Noticed it was the same top and I was like, I have to get it. Next up, let's move on to the shoes that I got. Now, you cannot convince me that these are not perfect fall boots. These are from the brand Mia. These are called the Tilsy Booty and they retail for $69. I love these boots. Do these not scream fall to you? This like dark gray color. Also, I'm a sucker for booties that have the little side zip and then just have like the decorative shoelaces. They don't really add too much other than make it look like a complete boot, but you don't need to like untie to get the boot off. You just do the little side zipper. I love that they're a flatter one. A lot of the booties that I have have a little bit more of a heel. I like that this is a flat one because I don't really have many flat booties. Most of them have a little bit of a heel, which again, I like those too. Obviously I have multiple pairs, but I don't have any that have the flat heel to them. These are incredibly comfortable. I did get a seven and a half. I range anywhere from a seven to an eight. It kind of depends on the shoe. This one's a seven and a half. I think I could have gotten away with a seven, but when you pair it with socks, I think that'll thicken it up a little bit. Not much else to say. They're dark gray, which is another one of my favorite colors. I mean, it's just a variation of black, but I just, oh my God, these just scream fall to me. I don't know why. I don't know why dark gray screams fall to me, but it does. And I just love these so much. I do think it might take a little bit of breaking in, but not terribly so. I love how these look so much. That's the outside part. And then this is the inside part with the zipper. I love how these look and they feel great. And they'll be great with jeans, with skirts, dresses, jumpsuits, anything like that. Very versatile. Next, we have this jumpsuit. This is from 41 Hawthorne and it is the Beatriz jumpsuit and it retails for $74, which is the most expensive item in this fix. But honestly, I'm so in love with it that I don't care. I'm like, please just give me this. Did I not tell you that there was a theme with that color in this fix? Now, I think I've tried this jumpsuit before. It's very familiar, fits very familiar. It may have even been in the last fix, but I just didn't like that pattern. I love this pattern. Look at this green. Look at the white flowers. I mean, if you couldn't tell, I do like a small, like delicate white flower detail, which can be seen in this top. Love that in this jumpsuit. Oh my God, first of all, pockets. We love that. They are long pants with a spaghetti strap up here. This is another good transitional piece. This is still great for summer. I know it's hot outside right now, but even in the evenings, like when you go out somewhere, this is a great, so flowy and lightweight that you're not gonna notice that they're long pants. And then transitioning into fall, pair it with a jacket, pair it with a cardigan, pair it with the coat again, maybe. I probably wouldn't do that, but you know, you might be able to find a solid coat again that would work well with this. There's so much you can do with this jumpsuit. I'm just over the moon about all the like olive greens that I got in this fix. It is quickly becoming my favorite color. Of course, I'm one of those people that cannot pick their favorite color. Again, I love to wear black. Black is a staple in my wardrobe, but I'm pretty sure this olive green is like my favorite. So when I saw this one, I was like, I 
I gotta get it. It does have a little bit of uh, elastic back here, so there is some stretch to it. You can also adjust the straps so that they're longer or shorter. I would probably, when I tried it on, I think I would shorten mine a little bit. I love the bodice cut in the front. It dips a little bit, but not too much. I love this jumpsuit so heckin' much. It's so comfortable. I might even change after I film this video into this, since I'm keeping everything. And last but not least, we have the coat again. Again, this is like a lightweight coat, heavy duty cardigan. This is from the brand Fortune and Ivy. This is the Sawyer Long Sleeve Open Cardigan, and it retails for $56. I thought this one would retail for a little bit more, so I feel like this one's kind of a steal. Look at the plaid. Look at the plaid. If this does not get you ready for fall, I don't know what will. It's like a longer duster almost. It's got dark gray. It's got tan. It's got light brown in it. There's so many different colors in here. It's actually very soft. I thought when I first saw this, I was like, that's going to be itchy. I guarantee you, but it's really not bad. I did try it with the tank top that I got in this fix because Lisa suggested pairing the two together. I think it looks great. I will say that my bare back, it itched slightly, so I might not wear it specifically with that top, but I do have a top that's similar in color that I think would work great with this. I love everything about this. I've never owned a coat again before either. So I'm like, do I put it in my closet? Do I put it in the coat closet? Like, where do I put it? But I love that it's open front. It doesn't have any buttons. I will say the sad thing about it, there are no pockets on it. That's kind of a bummer. That would be my only suggestion to Fortune and Ivy if they make more of these. Add a pocket. Everyone loves pockets. So definitely maybe add that in the future. But this is such a unique piece to me that I was like, I can't pass this up. Cause again, I don't own a coat again, never owned a coat again. I was like, it screams fall. This is fall. I have to have it. So this entire fix came to $267, which is a little expensive, but because I actually am keeping all five items, I get that 25% off discount, which brings it down to $200.25. And then for some reason, I have a credit of $8.72. I don't know where that came from. So my total is $191.53. This still sounds pretty expensive, but considering what I'm getting, I'm getting a jumpsuit, two tops, a cardigan, and booties. I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like that's a pretty good fix. Breaking my rule by getting all five items, not just one, not just two, but all five. You can't tell me that this fix wasn't a good one. All of these items will be listed in the description below in case you are interested in trying any of them yourself. Like if you're doing Stitch Fix, or thinking about doing Stitch Fix, the items are listed there so that maybe you can request it from your stylist. Also is my referral link. So if you do decide to try Stitch Fix, you've never tried it before and you wanna give it a go, my referral link is there. You get a little bit off, I get a little bit off, everybody wins, it's great but no pressure to try that. Let me know what item you liked the most in this fix. I used to say, let me know what you liked the least, but it's just like, eh, let's not do anything negative. Just tell me what you liked the most in this fix and if you're considering requesting anything. Special thank you to my patrons. You can help support the channel on Patreon while having access to videos early, viewing patron-only content, and more. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go down there, hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell, so YouTube will let you know when I upload next. But until next time, bye all! Mm -hmm.